Holocaust continues to shape medical practice, research ethics, and healthcare policy. Ensuring that we never repeat the mistakes of our past must remain a primary goal of individual physicians and professional organizations alike. Next in our program, you will hear from international physicians, one of whom represents the World Medical Association, regarding the essential role of the Holocaust in the history, present, and future of medicine. Well, the Nuremberg trials showed that uh, many German physicians did uh, terrible atrocities towards their patients, uh, not only in concentration camps, but also outside. It started with uh, denouncing all Jewish physicians uh, uh, and uh, taking away their licenses uh, to work. Um, and it ended up by uh, treating uh, whole groups uh, of uh, patients, Jews, Sintis, other people, not as human beings, but um, l like animals. One of the founding uh, reasons for the World Medical Association was uh, the Nuremberg Trials. Uh, it was after the Nuremberg Trials uh, that uh, an organization was founded um, that uh, wanted to, to, uh, to write ethical codes that this could never happen again. And indeed, uh, the World Medical Association is the holder of the Declaration of Helsinki, which is the basis of all science with living beings. And it is part of the, um, uh, of the approval uh, at, uh, um, for all drugs and uh, vaccinations all over the world. And the WMA is still owner of this uh, declaration. Uh, and it is very important to, to describe the principles of um, science for physicians uh, when it involves uh, uh, living beings, uh, be it ordinary patients, uh, but also be it people uh, from uh, vulnerable groups. Uh, uh, and I think the Helsinki Declaration is one of the prime uh, documents of um, the World Medical Association.